I'm gonna go through uh, all these random MIDI tools that uh, you can now buy. So uh, click on the link and yeah, I'll show you how they work. So we have uh, five of these. Uh, one's called Random Note, uh, the other is Random Note Generator, and this one's called Random ARP. And then this one is the Random Voice Send and random voice receive. They're pretty cool, pretty um, versatile and very powerful for sound design and all sorts of applications. So random note basically just um, spits out random notes as you enter MIDI and it keeps the same velocity and length. So I'll demonstrate that with an operator. Super simple, all you have to do is set the range here and you have a nice visual representation of where the notes are going to appear. So next, we'll do the random note generator. So this uh, is basically like the random note patch except it plays notes for you. So you set uh, the range the ranges here and it randomizes between these ranges. So the length you have up to five seconds of range. Velocity it goes from 0 to 127 obviously. Uh, time meaning like the time between each note. The upper speed limit is 10 seconds and lower speed limit is 3 milliseconds so it's really wide range and then of course you have your note range here. So if I activate this, let's set some velocity um, so you can hear the velocity working as well. The way you would use this, obviously, wouldn't just be with a shitty little patch like this. Um, you could trigger anything with this. You could, um, say, set up a drum rack and you could load in a bunch of different samples and then you could have this playing and you would have a randomized audio source and then you could put whatever post-processing on that and it's really cool for sound design. Uh, I use this thing all the time. So uh, you might have seen one of uh, my videos for uh, random sound design. Well, this is, uh, it's full of this. And this is an updated one from the one that I was using in the video. So yeah, now you can control the range of the length and the values also go higher. And yeah, the great thing about this is you can stack them. So if I want to have a bunch of different notes playing randomly, I, ca I can. I'm going to set the ranges. To stop them, it doesn't uh, work with uh, the play button, although I'm sure you, I could uh, find a way to set it so it starts and stops when you hit uh, press play. But at the moment, you have to uh, start and stop them all manually. I want to do this simply because I didn't want to ha constantly have to have the transport running all the time while I'm doing sound design. Sometimes it's nice just to be able to play it. But maybe I'll, in uh, another version I'll include the option to start and stop with the transport. So say I want to have a drum rack and I can just load in a bunch of claps or snares. So yeah, now I can uh, have a little sound design sound source. Random ARP. So this is basically like the random note generator, except A, it is linked to transport. So when you press play, it starts. 
when you press play stop it stops let me just put another operator on it so the length range is here let's just turn it down a bit so as you can hear it's a lot more rhythmic than the random note generator you have your divider range so it divides it's like how how many uh, divisions of uh, bar do you want so one would be a 16th note two would be uh, eighth note three would be a dotted eighth note four um, would be a whole note and so on and so forth all the way up to a bar and then your change time is how often you want the time to change pretty simple so here I have it set to every whole note I could have it set every 16th note or every bar but it goes from 16th note to a bar and then you have your velocity range and your um, note range down here and then you can also set it to triplets down here so if you set to triplets I'll show you And sometimes it goes a little bit out of time, but I tried my best to make it so that when you change any of the settings, um, it still stays in time. So I did my best to make it so you can automate stuff while it's happening. Um, and here's the last thing I want to talk about is the times two probability. So there's a slight chance that it will um, double in speed. and. 1 basically means that the probability is 1. 0 means it won't happen. And then as the higher the probability, uh, I know I said it weird, but the higher the probability, the lower the probability. So it's like there's out of 16, um, there's like only one chance that it'll double in speed. So if I have it set to 1 or 2. <laughs> Yeah, you get the idea. So 16 is the lowest probability besides 0 obviously. So it goes 0 to 1 and then 1 I mean 0 and then 1 to 16 as your level of probability. It's a little bit um counterintuitive so I needed to make this video to explain it a little bit so yeah this can be used in the same application with this drum rack and then you can make drum fills like this And all these uh, random things are really cool if you put um, scale uh, devices on after them. So right now they're just playing random notes, but if I add a scale object, let's say with C minor. Some, it suddenly becomes musical. Um, so this is a very powerful tool both for atonal and yeah, tonal sound design. What I'll usually do is I'll just have this running with a bunch of other random effects on it and record it and let the computer do a lot of the work for me. All right, let's move on. Okay, so the random voice receive and send. Now these are cool. So I'm gonna put the send on here and then I'll have a bunch of different synths in an effect rack just to give a demonstration of what's happening. Okay, I think four is enough. So let's put 
an instance of the receive channel of this before each of these. And we're going to set this number to a different one for each channel. First thing before I do anything is I'm going to limit the amount of active channels because we only have four. That's the MIDI going into the receiving channels. So as you can see, every time I press a note, it's being sent to a different one of these receivers. And you can have uh, notes. Uh, you can have two receivers on the same channel. You can have, um, you can configure it in any way that you want. So it's pretty powerful. And also you have all these settings on the um, send patch. So here you can have it sent to different ones in, uh, in a random or sequenced order. Or you could have it sent to all channels at once. <laughs> That's good for if you want to test out one of the patches, but you don't have to, want to have to wait for that note to be triggered. You can just have them go through all, and then you can solo one of the patches. So right now, when it's set on sequence mode, it's on random. So it goes through all the different patches at random, or all the different uh, receive channels at random. But you can also set it to a specific order. So say you want it to go up. Or down. Or up and down. So yeah, super useful um, for many different things. Now, there's only one problem with it is that when you hold down MIDI notes, say, so for some reason, I can only get it so it will um, recognize the note ons. But if I take one of the notes off, but one of the other notes is still on, it'll just hold all of the notes on. If there's anyone watching that is really good at Max, um, that can help me fix this problem for a second version of this plugin, that would really be helpful. So yeah, basically, it, say like if I'm playing pads and stuff, um, I've got to be careful that each chord, I've uh, released all the notes on the last chord. So that's the only drawback to this. Other than that, it's really useful, especially if you don't have overlapping notes and your MIDI isn't polyphonic material, if it's just one note. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, when playing uh, sustained notes, I haven't figured that out. So this plugin is called Random Voice Send, and then this one's called Random Voice Receive. The link to all of these are now below the video, so please help me out and uh, buy these patches and hope you enjoy them. Oh,